time to upgrade the SE. I've got a full set of Jim's berries right here for it because I gotta get those bushings out of there. And SSD brass knuckle weights because it needs a little bit of something up front, right? And now, hopefully this will cure my power and control problem. I've got a Fusion Pro 2300KV right here. This is going into this right here in this video. Let's get to it. The Jim's bearings right here, the SSD brass knuckles. I've got these on a few vehicles. Very, very nice. Of course, it's getting a GT5. And while I'm into the axles, transmission, and all that stuff, it's going to get some utter butter right here. Let's get this done. Well, check this out. There's an O-ring in the axle housing. Very nice element. Hey guys, the axles are greased nice. Are those bearings? Yep, those are bearings on the carrier. is a shim on that as well there's a shim on that as well I'm showing you guys this because I'm flipping the diffs when you take off with this thing it raises passenger side up if you're in any truck in the world okay I mean, like when you throttle it, which side comes up? The driver's side. So I'm in, I'm effectively changing the torque twist properties. Super nice pieces. They come with larger bearings, the five by 11 by four versus the five by 10 by four. I swapped those out for some rubber sealed bearings. So yeah, no metal shielded bearings in here. And the front is now done. Simple and easy. The back is even easier. Just take the hexes off, take these two screws out, and all this pops right loose. And then you just take the four bolts out right there, there, and just get it done. I want to get this done off camera. Although the carrier has bearings, the pinion gear does not. I've only run this truck one time on camera. Maybe another five minutes off camera. Look at the shiny on the pinion shaft right there. That's from bushings. The back end is now done. So now we get to move on to the transmission. And in case you're wondering, yes, I did flip that diff. It's going the proper direction. I've removed the ESC. We don't need this anymore. That can go over there because uh, nothing has to go here now. To get the motor off, there's four bolts. One, two, three, four. The cover and the motor all comes off at once. To get the transmission top off, one, two, three, four, five, and the whole top of the transmission comes right off. And there we go, simple as that, but dealing with those drive shafts was a bit of a pain. To get to this gear down in here, the shaft and all the bushings involved, along with your slipper, which, hmm, I guess that's kind of set. You gotta take these bolts off right here. There's one bushing. And well, I gotta take these four off as well. Six. All right, so using a little hex wrench. Ooh, it all just fell apart. Ah, well, I got it loose. There we go. I gotta tell you, the nice shiny bolts, as nice as they are, I'd rather them put this 0.5 cents into bearing so I'm not having to do this. Really, it can't be that big of a deal for bearings.
I already have one of them broke. That's not going back in. And there we go. Got this to get out right here. And you can usually just simply pop these like this. See if I can get that to go. Oh, there we go. Bearing in. And we are all set. That goes back together like that. Ah, that spins pretty good now. Up next, we have this right here. We got to get this little like a bull gear or spur gear kind of, sort of. <laughs> got to get this loose, get those bushings right there changed out. And at the time, we'll also swap in the few. Simply peel this off, take that screw out right there, and you can get that gear off and put some bearings in it. These are in here pretty good. I may have to do a little hammering on these. Very close tolerance bearing journals. And it's finally time to swap that motor. Here we are. I do got to tell you, um, that is so weird that you can't just put the bolts in up and down like that. But maybe they had a space constraint they were trying to get into. But regardless, there it is. I got this bolted back down. Now it's just simply putting this in place right here. And we'll just set the motor up nice and simple. Real quickly, let's go over the settings. One is that one, which is the RPM matching. Two is your auto count for your cells. So it counts whether it's two or three. And here we have your cutoff voltage, which is at medium. Temperature, which is at one, 221 degrees Fahrenheit. Motor rotation, counterclockwise. BC voltage, 7.4. Drag brake is maxed out. Drag brake rate, maxed out. Max reverse force is at 75%. Max brake force is maxed out. RPM decrease, maxed out. Punch, maxed out. Neutral range is at the minimum, 4%. This way it's a little bit more sensitive when you just get off that trigger. Here's a stock steering servo on 7.4 volts. That's actually not bad. And there we have the bearings and the motor install put in here. I wanted to show details on this and I'm gonna try to get into more details as I go on. So there's gonna be install videos like this that have no actual driving because I want to show more details of what I'm doing. So hopefully you guys understand that. Um, but up next today, you will see the drive part of this very truck. So hopefully everything works out okay. I mean, the bushings, just like one or two drives at the most, you could already see like the shafts starting to wear or get shiny. Mm. Bearings, guys. Bearings, bearings, bearings. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Check that description. I'll link up the bearings down below. Link up other parts and pieces as well. So check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe and ring that bell. You guys are awesome. Catch you later. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.